Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Sea Mongrel, which is a horror game that acts as kind of a spin off sequel to Hungry Lamu, which was the horror game where you had to survive a man llama. And in this horror game, we enter Aquarium this time, where we must survive man fish. I can't believe you forgot our second anniversary. Ouch. What the? I told you I didn't forget. You were the one that told me we didn't need some big celebration for our anniversaries. Yeah, we need some big celebration. A little date to commemorate it would have been nice. Okay, and that's what we're having right now. Why are you making such a big fuss about? Because this was obviously such a last minute thing. If I didn't even ask you what we were going to do, I bet you would have just gone for your martial arts class. You say you love me, but sometimes you don't act like it. I do. Yeah, whatever. So, how you two doing? That's good. See things are working out for you. You guys have merged into like one super being. <laughs> it's a little weird. Damn it. What? Pins and needles. Walk it off with the WASD key, remember? I know how to walk him. Yeah, but you always forget. Enter to open the menu. Hey, Graham's the other way. Bus stop? Bus stop. What's this bag? Pick up a band aid. Yeah, let's just take a band aid from a parking lot. I feel like an aquarium's not bad for a uh, anniversary date or anything. That's a pretty good choice. Like, if I were to think of, like, a, a low-key anniversary date, that'd be, like, staying at home. Not necessarily that's a bad thing, but... Go out of the aquarium, that's still doing something. Maybe I'm just biased because I like aquariums. Hey, what you got there? What? Just some spare drinks for today. You can have them. Just gonna throw them out anyways, or whatever. Sweet. Are you serious? We're not beggars, Fio. What? Free drinks are free, it's true. You're so gross. Sorry, bud. We're all out. That's the entry. It's over here. Tickets. Tickets, please! Good evening. Two tickets for our lovely couple here. Do note we're closing in about 30 minutes. Okay, yeah, I can see where this is last minute. Enjoy your visit at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. Hey, dude. Ouch. Got myself a nasty cut here. Y'all got a spare bandage roll I can use? Not for you. I'll keep him all my bandages. Clean that one. Oops. Never mind. I apparently am giving it to you. Oh, sweet. Thanks, guys. We'll save this for my workout later. Y'all can have it. Smelling salt. Revives to 50 HP. Okay. By doing a good deed, I got a higher value item in return. Did you enjoy yourself, Zoe? I did, Mama. I got to see so many cool fishies. My favorite was the water worm. That's great, dear. You have terrible taste. Let's head home. Okay, Mama. You should have said shark. Merch store, huh? Hey. What did that guy put in the food today? My stomach is not agreeing with it at all. Just 10 more minutes, Brad. You can hold it. That does not sound good.
bass. Whoa, its mouth is huge. Probably why it's so fat. Just like you. What? Uh, uh, it was just a joke. Well, it wasn't very funny. Jeez, we can't take jokes anymore? It wasn't even a joke, it was just rude. And I've told you, I don't like it when you joke about that. Fine, sorry I guess. Largemouth bass are common river fish. They love to feed on smaller fishes like bait fish, which are abundant in rivers. Largemouth bass are opportunistic apex predators, commonly measuring in about 16 inches. So interesting. Fat fish. Yeah, they have a real big mouth. When encountering a fret, a largemouth bass has four choices. Fight, guard, bag, and run. Okay! Fighting allows the largemouth bass to choose a move to inflict damage onto the fret. And when the largemouth bass takes enough damage, it can unleash the Omni Slash. Some of its attacks apply stats effects like a chance of causing bleed or stun. Some moves are solely used to inflict stats effects on the fret, but tend to have a lower accuracy. Largemouth bass depend highly on their stamina. All their moves require stamina to carry out. If a largemouth bass has insufficient stamina, guarding will allow them to gain a certain amount of stamina. Choosing the guard instead of attacking in a strategic- <laughs> This is so serious. I know what they're doing, but it's just like... It's a strategic decision that could benefit the largemouth bass in the long run. This doesn't sound like a bass at all. Well, what do we know? There's a lot of fish in here. In two, like, small of aquariums. The largemouth bass has, oh my god, has the option of bag, which allows it to use items it has stored. Different items have different effects, different times of extreme danger, the largemouth bass has used it survival to ensure survival. However, the items are limited, and the largemouth bass don't choose rather than Winning is also an option that largemouth bass has. However, when put up against a big fret, it's unlikely that the largemouth bass could even be able to escape. Bass with a bag? Okay, this is definitely doesn't seem right. And since when were you a fish expert? I think I became a fish expert when the, uh... The fish started becoming JRPG characters. Okay, thank god. The Sea Habitat Aquarium is our largest tank here at its Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. It houses several types of marine life like fishes and coral. All the marine life in the tank support one another, creating a miniature ecosystem within the tank. Sounds sick. Let's go check it out. Nope. Jellyfish. Shark. Dolphin. Bass. This reminds me of the, uh... Because I know there's only, there's only a few aquariums that have, uh... Whale sharks in them. One of them is the one in Atlanta. I've been to that one before. It's pretty nice. Whoa. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Sorry for not planning anything for our second anniversary. It's okay. All that matters is that we're together now. Yeah. Come on. Let's see for everything else before the place closes. Okay. Uh-oh. What the? Hey. Did they close already? We weren't even here for 15 minutes yet. Maybe they forgot to tell us they were closing early. Guess we should get out of here. Fine. Sorry, Kim. What else can we do anyway? What's that sound? Sounds like someone's coming. Must be an employee coming to fetch us or out or something. Hey, dude. That's no dude. Don't worry, we're just about to leave. Is everything okay? We're not looking for trouble. We do know you guys closed early today. Oh my god, it's a JRPG fight. Fight the fish! Jab. Whack. 
Oh, it's a it's a large mouth bass. Man, I cry. I see no reason to like not just whack it. It's just trying to debuff us. We've defeated the largemouth bass. And I just learned uppercut. What the hell was that? Theo, say something. I don't know. Is it a mascot or something? Its skills were real when I punched it. And it attacked us. Yeah. Is it dead? I don't know. Let's just get out of here. Right now. About the same thing. Is this gonna be like... Same th basically these things are gonna be related to the, uh... Lamu. Just some weird experiments in this town. I'm taking this fire axe, just in case. Just be careful with it, alright? I can't help myself, thank you very much. Swift swing. Bathroom. Any loot in here? White glove. What's a... what's a white glove do? Wake up slam... We use the white glove to wake someone up if they get, like, a sleep debuff. Just slap them with that glove. The duel's on. Oh, someone else is alive, but first I'm gonna take this stuff. Please don't hurt me. Hey, chill. We're just normal people, I think. Oh, thank God. You okay? No, I'm not. Me and my sweet boyfriend just wanted to celebrate our first month of sit. Well, really, you're moving fast. It was supposed to be a simple fun date to the aquarium. He even told me he had a surprise for me. Then the lights went out and we ran into this terrifying fish thing. Looks like we weren't the only ones. Well, where's your boyfriend now? Probably dead. We hid here for a while until he told me he was going to get help. He should be coming back for me soon. Good luck. The tunnel tank is one of the longest tanks at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. It houses multiple marine life from cor corals to small fishes, but it specializes in various species of sharks such as the hammerhead shark. Should we really still be reading these signboards when we're potentially in danger of encountering evil mutated fishes? Maybe some of these could have information useful for us against them. Besides, we paid for the tickets. Might as well make them worth the price. I think we're having a pretty priceless experience right now. So, um, I take it we're going to be finding sharks. We're okay. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just... uppercut the shark. Oh god. Is that... It's too dark to see. But the smell gives it away. We have to get out of her feel. This control panel looks like it could open the shell door. It's missing a fuse, though. Never white glove. That means the sleep thing is gonna become a big thing. What the hell am I doing with my life? Why am I of these Why am I of all these people eating lunch alone in this room? Brad thinks he knows everything, always targeting me. He knows I'm better than him. He's intimidated. Said that goddamn pea brain, all he thinks about is his workout. Everyone knows intellect beats all. That Jen is so bloody annoying. Well, you hate everybody. She thinks she's got everyone at the tip of her fingertips. Asking me to do her work for her. Sally's too kind. She's not going to go far in the real world. And that Demi, her lack of interest in anything pisses me off. I was a goddamn scientist. Me and my mentor were so close to a breakthrough. If only we had more time. How the hell did I go from experimenting with chemicals to serving disgusting snacks and beverages? They'll all get what they deserve. So, I'm reminded of a manga. And I think it's called Jin Men or something. It's a... 
similar. It's not an aquarium. It's a similar premise though, where the characters are in a zoo instead, and then like faced animals start attacking everybody. I don't think it's fully translated. The whole series is over, but it's not fully translated. It's always goes on hiatus. People, different teams pick it up. Uh, very, very schlocky, violent horror manga. All right, the fuse fits. The shell door should be open now. Let's go, Kim. Wait, Theo. There's a switch here for emergency lights. It'd be nice to see you again. Flick it. Ah, great. Hammerhead shark. I mean, all we can do is really fight. Swift swing. Two defensive. My speed and defense! Let's guard. Two damage. Guard again. I think you can use your swift swing. Of course you target her when she's not, like, guarding. Instantly one-shotting her. Damn. Cut the shark! Okay, so I need to... I'm gonna use this on you. Hopefully you'll get one shot as soon as you, uh... Swing. Seven damage, bleed. Uppercut. You need to heal. That's just for stamina. Yeah, that was a good choice. You guard. You use a swing. Well, even with the guard, you do a ton of damage. Wow, these things are really strong! Uppercut. Because we still need to, like, get damage in. Oh, man. Okay, you've been sleeped. Good. So, use... On Kim. And then you guard. Thank God for bleed. Low kick, aimed miss. Did we just beat up a shark? Yeah! Yeah. Let's go, Kim. Huh. You don't heal from leveling, which is going to be a little bit dangerous later. Deep, deep down below the depths of the ocean floor, it's one of the most mysterious and undiscovered parts of the ocean. It houses several unexplainable marine creatures, some of which have evolved in terrifying ways to adapt to the conditions of the deep sea. However, there is a beauty in the deep, dark sea as well. The jellyfish, being 95% made out of water, illuminate the depths with their bright colors. Jellyfish don't have brains, lungs, or hearts. Most only live for a few hours. Here in Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park, we house multiple jellyfish of varying colors. Watch them swim in their individual pillar tanks. For a closer look at their anatomy, we have constructed egg yolk jellyfish statues, ten times their original size. No way they're actually called egg yolk jellyfish. All part of a nutritional aquatic breakfast. We gotta fight jellyfish now. Oh god, you're gonna die. It's locked. That's a real jellyfish, isn't it? Oh, thank goodness you work here, right? 
Oh dear, are you both okay? Yes, we're okay, but... Don't worry, you're going to be fine. Please just tell us how to get out of here. Maybe like an emergency exit or something? Well, the building seems to be in lockdown. The other exits are shut. The only way out would be the entrance where you came in. We're doomed then. Now, now. We're at the end of the park, building right now. Beyond the deep dark sea is the last exhibit. The touch pools. Then past that is the merch store and you'll be back in the lobby. Come on, Kim. Just a little bit more. We'll make it out of here, I promise. Okay. Lady, come with us. It's dangerous here. Don't worry about me, dear. I'll be fine. I'll stay here and wait for any other guests. You two go on ahead. Take care, ma'am. We'll see you outside. You two. Take care of each other. You're the one that they... They, uh, said that was too nice for this world, right? The band-aid will be useful. Must be nice to be a jellyfish. Not care in the world, just swimming. Endlessly. No responsibilities, no thoughts, just... Jelly. Mmm. Jelly. Cup of fuel of our various marine animals, like the manta rays and horseshoe crabs. Please be gentle when handling the marine life. Remember, they are not toys to play with. Please do not litter in the touch pools. It affects the marine life when you throw your trash into their ecosystem. The audacity of people throwing trash into the homes of these animals. Yeah. I don't think I'm in the mood to emphasize with these animals right now. Come on, Fio. Just because some of the aquatic life try to kill you doesn't mean they're all bad. I'm kidding. Let's get out of here, Fio. Should I, like, I heal ahead of time? Fire extinguisher. So I wanted to skip out a lame field trip and now the power's out. Talk about bad luck, eh? Maybe got a SIG? Got a lighter, but not nothing to use it for. Smoke it isn't cool, dude. It's my life, ain't it? I wonder if we can find him one. It's locked. Let's go from the north side. Yeah, this is a normal touch pool. Dolphin. Disposable taser? What are these items? Extinguishes burn, makes sense. Shock the stun out of them. <laughs> it's 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 actually a a positive item. Receive two smelling salts. Ooh. Oh, I see the hint about the people throwing away stuff. Ah, oh, the manta ray and the horseshoe crab are in love. I wonder what a manta crab would look like. Next boss is a manta crab. Bandage rolls. Wait, this isn't a fish? There we go. First aid kit. Two soft drinks, very useful. Yuck, I don't understand why people would want to feel these slimy fishes. Maybe the fishes are attacking them, they have no choice but to fight back. Yeah, when is that ever going to happen, right? Radical. Well, don't really need this lighter anymore. Y'all can have it. We don't smoke. Wait, you can try this with your axe. Firely slash? What? <laughs> Another shell door, huh? Looks like this one needs an employee access card to open. Maybe we could ask that lady for hers. Oh yeah, she should have hers. She's dead. It's gonna be a giant jellyfish in there. Or a manta crab. Or it'll just be free loot. I'm okay with that. Oh god. Yeah, ain't, this ain't good. So what am I... Low kick. Moderate chance to inflict stun. I feel like we should low kick.
completely smiths the target, confusing them. Might be useful. High chance to inflict burn. Oh no. Okay, so at least you're going to be taking out damage. I will slap you. And then you're just gonna... I think we're gonna heal. Damn. You, uh... Try this. I mean, that's we can get a stun on you. Boy, you're just getting stats effect to hell and back. Okay. This is working out. Guard for now. I'm curious on how effective this is. Trying to inflict sleep. You just guard for now. Oh no, that that's useful. Cause it wastes a turn. Okay, so we're gonna heal Kim. And then you're gonna try to get some bleeds so that we uh get some more passive damage on you. And just just go for it, honestly. Kim is too. Okay, you're sleeping. You guard. Fire slash. Mother just low kick it out, then you guard. Ooh, those debuffs are stacking up. We win! Fake out and pumped up. What the hell? Was that thing above us the entire time? Wait, where did the lady go? I wonder if the employees are turning into the things. Oh no. Oh no. She must have dropped this. Let's go, Kim. Should maybe heal. Well, we'll check the next room. There's a possibility that, uh, there is, like, a rest area. That's what I'm hoping for. But no guarantees. Could be one in here. It's empty. Like my soul. There's a picture. Hmm. It's empty. Wait. It's a key to the toilet? What does this person have in their locker? It's empty. Well, there was a locked toilet earlier. Before I go any further... This key from the locker should work. Awesome. No! Yeah, we're definitely gonna heal ahead of time. I 
And then I'm thinking I get some soft drinks so we start off strong. Let's do it! Lowers our attack and defense. Hmm. Maybe we should get the stun on first. Intensely raises our attack and speed. Well, we should definitely... You know, aim miss to be better. If we get the confusing off, sooner the better, and damage won't affect that. Oh, the fire debuff stayed. Ouch, and you hurt like hell. We're gonna have to use it. So you have that. We'll pump up. The confusion will help us quite a bit. Um, I'm not gonna waste a turn. You a fake out. Fire slash. Get the debuffs on if we can. That passive damage really adds up. Okay, now they debuffed us. Low kick it. Swift swing. Okay, double debuff. You used a buff, but we didn't nerf you earlier. Not getting the debuffs we want. Let's lower your uh, stats again. And have you guard. Not too bad. Try to get that stun on you. Try to narrate and miss. That could save us from a uh, attack that will do a lot of damage. Okay, now you're stunned. Yeah, see? It was definitely worth it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna lower your stats some more. I wonder if this stacks up. Okay, your flames are gone. We didn't have to waste an item. You're bleeding. Yeah, that confusion actually is really strong. Debuffs are always like a mixed bag. So in some games, they're, they're bad. Like they just never work. Like a lot of bosses are immune to them. Or they just it's not worth it. Like mana cost or resource cost. Stuff like that. And in some RPGs, they're extremely powerful. Like, they just break the game. And some are, like, halfway. Um, and, and in some games, they're actually just hard required. Like, if you're not... And it's always interesting to see how they buff around debuffs. It's, it's always different. Usually, they're not good. I'll say that. Most RPGs, they usually under... Or over-nerf debuffs and stuff. But certain games, like... Lisa, for example, like, debuffs are required. You're not going to get through the game about debuffs of some kind. Okay. Um, so a, there's no, like, heals. I will heal up now. You know, I don't think there's any reason to not, like, 
consume all these and have like hundreds of uh, stamina. <laughs> There's no reason to heal yet, though. You might, like, survive at least a hit. The bass plush is actually kind of cute. Looks like I'm pretty much traumatized by any fish by now. We could use it for exposure therapy. You got seals? This should be the entrance, right? That means there'd be like a final boss here. The lobby! We made it back! Come on, let's get out of here, Theo. God, this nightmare's finally over. I'm gonna take a good long bath to get rid of this fish smell. Yeah. What's up, Kim? Let's go. Don't you feel... watched? What? We're so close, Kim. Let's just get out of here and leave this behind us. We can't leave this behind us if it falls us out of here, Theo. It's a statue. Oh no, the final boss of Dolphin! Oh, I'm gonna fight this damn dolphin, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this one's a complete upgrade over your uh, thing. So definitely we're just gonna open up this, like, right off the bat. Crazy cuts. To bleed and stun. That's pretty good, too. But, I will aim for the confusion. We're being dolphin! Oh my god, they're so strong! Okay, we got one thing on there. You're gonna heal Kim, for one. Alright, we need to get debuffs on you, Prano. But first I'm gonna pump up. And Theo, you're gonna... Try to lower their attack, because you hit it hard. And then we use crazy cuts. Okay. No. Um. Not really too much more we can do. Gives you combat combo. Might land asleep on you. Let's do a name miss, confuse you again. We are running... It's time to sleep. Let's lower your attack and defense a little more. Let's do a fiery slash. Wait, no. We have a... We can stun. We gotta recover from that. Damn! The bleed kicked in. Definitely. Interesting you followed through on what you were gonna do. Okay. Honestly, just combat combo. You... Fiery Slash this. I'd like to get fire on you. Uh-oh. Okay, that'll have a lot of damage. And we get to sleep on. Cool. Um... Is any of these confused... Tell with confusion? Not really. I can soft drink you, though.
And... You know, I'm gonna heal Theo. Ah! Deep ups for the win! Ah, now it's over. Let's go, Kim. Right behind you, Theo. Anything more I've known around here? Not really. Hey, the bus! Hurry, Theo, let's go! So Harper sent this takes place in the same world as Hungry Lamo. Like, those creatures are exactly the same, except, you know, different species. I know you said we didn't need a big celebration for our anniversaries, but you have to admit, that was a pretty big date. Considering we almost died multiple times, I guess it was a pretty big date. I'm lucky to have you, Kim. I know Theo, me too. But wait, who's driving the bus? No, no press credit scene, huh? So that's it for a sea mongrel. You don't see too many horror game RPGs, which is there is a few of them. Like it's not like they're non-existent. They're they usually exist in the much older generations of games, and uh, they were predominantly JRPGs. In fact, the the origins of this modern survival horror, if you want to go way back, is really actually j horror JRPGs. Like that's where this whole genre really started but yeah so there's no direct link to Lamu I think they were kind of hinting at obviously with a scientist and everything talking and stuff about that and, um like I was a scientist you know and like how many people like know how to make fish animal people or something and notably we never meet the scientist we don't really necessarily see what happened or what caused this or even necessarily the aftermath we just escape after being of a dolphin <laughs> so this universe is very much still at large for the threat that keeps spawning these things here. So I'm curious if they're fishing around for... Maybe they just have like random ideas, or if they're kind of like testing the waters for a... Maybe not Lamu itself, but just like a man-faced animal saga. Like I said, like the uh, the horror manga I mentioned, like Jin Men. Where they just make a, a longer game that's just like, things are going to hell everywhere. There's animal people, there's animal hamsters, uh, man hamsters or whatever, which would be vaguely interesting, actually. I'd, I'd play something like that. The uh, dolphin in particular looked horrifying at the end, so, like, they got a good style for that. But yeah, anyway. So, thank you all for watching play Sea Mongrel. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.